Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming with another Mac Warrior online video. Uh, in my last video, somebody told me about the field of view, and you can change that in the settings uh, under the game. Uh, first person field of view was uh, uh, generally it's based on 60, and that's what you've seen in all my latest videos. I tried one out with 90, but 90 was, uh, for my taste, the seat was too far back. You can see way more of the cockpit. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's very detailed inside the cockpit as well. <clears throat> but I figured out 75 probably is going to do it for me. Um, I also figured out you can actually take out the directional arrow here. Uh, you remember I was moaning or bitching about it in one of my first videos uh, with this projected arrow on the ground for for beginners it's quite good but yeah well um, so I'm going to to show you how the how it looks uh, with the view of 75 and I'm back and as you can see uh, in, to, in comparison to previous videos so first of all there is no arrow on the ground you just can uh, Decipher the upper twist of the torso by the triangle on the top of the, yeah, let's call it compass. The lower triangle is lower body and the upper triangle is the torso. Or if you look at the minimap, you see that there the arrow still is shown and their field of vision is moving all on about. So for the for the view, um, like you see in my older videos, you could just see uh, in the die roll, for example, you could just see partially the screen, the kill screen, uh, which is this big flat screen with the uh, max skulls and the wrenches underneath underneath it, uh, on the right hand side, on top right side of the screen, a little bit above my uh, weapons uh, hotbar uh, menu. So I'm actually going to try something out. I think that should work. Whoa! Uh, so I'm back and this is how it looks like if you pull it back completely. So to uh, 120 field, field of vision uh, to the max, to the 120. Uh, so you're sitting quite far back in the cockpit. I don't know, that's maybe some th something that will come with Oculus Rift or something like that. Um, not quite sure about that, uh, that if you tilt you had to the left or to the right you could look at the screens and everything. But I'm definitely not going to play the match like this, so I'm going to go back out to, uh, maybe I can do it in here, ah I can. Into the settings in here and I'm um, going back down to 75. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to do it with 75. I had a quite decent match with 75 before, so save. It's saving. It's moving in, and there we go. Uh, oh, okay. Escape. I was still in this uh, in the uh, in the screen menu. That was why it was not very. Uh, the color of the screen wasn't good. So of course, because I was doodling around in this menu, we are a little bit late to the game. Uh, we destroyed one enemy max so far. And I have to tell you guys, I don't really like the Polar Highlands. I played it two or three times so far, and I didn't do as well. Uh, for example, the last time I played with the Dire Wolf, uh, I played this map with the Dire Wolf. I did 42 damage before I was destroyed. I just couldn't get used to. Uh, let's say the field of view, no, uh, to where everybody, you see all these little nooks and little canyons, uh, you, you could sneak around your enemies pretty easily. Well, not pretty easily. I didn't manage to do so, but the enemy did, uh, which resulted uh, in me getting outflanked and getting destroyed. Of course, like always, I wasn't sticking to, uh, or like I usually do, I wasn't really sticking to my team. I was at first, but then I moved off to the left flank. Uh, first we were three max there, the other two max turned around because there seemed to be no enemies. I saw one enemy quite far ahead, I like tunnel visioned on him, zoomed in twice, tried to get uh, get shots across uh, across the, the snow to get actually hit him with my gauze rifles. 
I did do at least one hit because I think that's the only one I hit in the whole game. And I wasn't paying attention that the, I actually was the being getting being damaged from the right hand side. The, so there was a little canyon out there with just a little, let's call it a, a little slope. And they were coming in from over there. And they did quite a lot of damage to me from, well actually he did. I realized it uh, at about the time two shot there were like two shots left before I blew up so I turned around I faced him I started to load up my ghost rifle like this uh, I was at yellow when he planted in I think it was a big auto cannon into my center torso and finished me off so I'm um, also, uh, kind of on a flanking run here, uh, at, le at least I, g I need to get at least one kilometer closer until I can get some effective fire into these guys which we have spotted up there. I'm kind of hoping to find a lone uh, catapult or other long range mech who is trying to get some damage done from over here. But doesn't look like that this is the case. So there is a even, a even Jaguar uh, 1.6 kilometers away or 1,600 meters away actually. And I need to go in to at least 660 meters to do some effective firing. To, to get some effective damage done. Um, like you see it started quite good for us. We were one... We were one up in the lead, but now we are three behind. So we destroyed two of their max, they destroyed six of our max. There just goes another other body, uh, somebody else. Uh, 700 meters. I'm getting close into firing range. I'm going through these buildings here. I might even get some flanking done here. Probably not. Oh, that's, uh, that's a friendly one. 800 meters. I'm going to zoom in. I might be able to get a shot or two in here. I mean, it won't be complete, full, very effective because 660 meters is the matching number. Ooh, that went into the ground. But I'm actually in range for my secondary guns here. What? Where did you come from? There you came from. Whoops. Try to mitigate some damage over here. Okay, took out one guy. And it's time to run. Well, sort of running. I'm getting... The Direwolf is a good mech. I like the Direwolf, but his handling could be better. So I'm turning the torso. I'm just trying to mitigate some damage. Not taking every hit into my back of the back of my center torso because that will end me quite quickly and I think i am got this building between me and the enemies which should help at least a little bit so oh damn it there are some enemies Get some other buildings between me and this guys. I don't know if any of those shots went through. I'm sure I hit with those. Those were a complete miss again. And I'm completely outflanked and alone, so that's going to be my end here. I'm not guessing I'm going to get another good shot off. Yeah, I'm overheating now. Try to uh, over... Yeah, that's it. Not surprisingly there, I got myself outflanked and all alone. But still, I did some damage, I will get some credit for this game, which puts us a little bit closer to buy our own mech with a ghost rifle.
But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this Mac Warrior Online video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, I could help you a li out a little bit with, uh, with the instruction of how to change your field of view in the cockpit so you see a little bit more of your cockpit. Uh, big thank you to the viewer who actually informed me about that and is always helping me out with, with tips and comments uh, uh, below my videos. So thanks, thank you very much mate and to all the rest of you guys I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!